I am am the humble humble seer. seer. Hello and welcome to the humble seer. So let's do a reading on Christian Slater and his significant other. I don't know if he's married or anything. I don't know anything at all about him, but I guess we'll find out as we get into this reading, right? So yeah, we're going to do Christian Slater. And Christian Slater was very popular at one time, maybe the 90s. Um, But then he just kind of fell off. And I feel like that was, you know, due to uh, an abuse of some sort of substance or drug, maybe alcoholism. I don't know, but he just fell off the wagon. And I get that it was his uh, fame. It was just too much for him to handle. He just couldn't deal with it. And so he, um, he didn't move to calmer waters, but he moved what he thinks was calmer waters, which was away from the industry for a spat. But he, um, really got involved in, um, just not treating himself well. But we're going to talk about his relationships. And again, I don't know if he's in one. I don't know if he's married. We'll just say his significant other because I see someone there. I see someone in his life. Okay, so we're going to do the traditional card reading. Uh, We're going to do the overall relationship. It's bumpy. And how he views them kind of side-eyed and how they view him, which is... I want to take you for your money is what I'm getting. Okay, so here we have the overall. This is the overall relationship that he finds himself in. And it's it's the chariot. And the chariot is about determination. It's victory. It's winning. It's, you know, it's wanting to win. And this is his overall. But what I also get from this card is him in the industry. It's like he wants to be on top again. And he knows, he sees what he lost. Even though he knows that the industry has demons, he is at a point now where he wants to be back on top. And, you know, he does his B-grade movies, I'm getting. Just, you know, just stuff to make ends meet. And he lives comfortably. And also the relationships, it's like there's a determination there. There's a drive to succeed in them, but they don't succeed. This is how he sees them. All right, so he sees them as the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is persistent. They're patient. I'm going to leave it there because that is what these women are that come into his life. They're persistent and they're patient. Because you see the, the, the pinnacle that they have in their hand, um, well, that's in his hand, but they want it to be in their hand. And he recognizes that, and it's like he just, he knows that that is an issue. Money. And they want him to make more money. They want him to make more money. They just, they want more money in their life as it relates to him. And this is how they see him. And they view him as bad energy. They view him, it's the moon, it's bad energy, it's danger, it's deception. And the reason they view him in that way is because of his his past. And his past still trickles into his life or it comes into his, his current state, you know, the abusing of himself. Drugs, alcohol, things like that are an issue till this day for him. And so, um, and I hear that he has secrets. He has things that he wouldn't want anyone to know about. And they're pretty serious. Hmm. Yeah. He was reckless at one time. And I'm getting reckless with his vehicles and just a reckless, he lived a reckless life but it was fueled by the alcohol and drugs. It was, it was fueled by those things and it led him down dark paths and dark alleys and just dark, dark things, dark places, dark thoughts. And so the person that he involves himself with, they see him as that dangerous, you know, they've seen that side of him. 
and a very and being deceptive. And it's something they don't like. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this reading. And if you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee, and that will be in the description box below. Until next time, you take good care, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.